giving you a look around where we're at for this infield saw review. TMP year 10. We came here in Shaka Rands about five years ago. This was the location. Haven't been back here in a long time. The Steed is a KTM 1190, fully packed up with weapons, survival gear, ammo. Infield review of a saw. Let me first start out by saying, please, please don't send anything to the PO box for review, even though this dude did. Um, it still happens, and I'm very reluctant to review anything that comes to the PO box, because usually it's a burst send to a bunch of uh, YouTube channels, and they just, they send it out to a ton of channels hoping for some free advertising. Um, that's one reason, and if I detect that, and if I see some reviews posting on it, um, like that, I just not interested. I got too much other content I'd rather, rather work on. And another reason is a lot of the products that are sent to the PO box just, I'm sorry, they just suck. I mean, I can't endorse them. And if I were to review them, it would be a negative review and I'd kill your sales on it. I don't want to do that. So I don't do it very often. But this was sent to the post office box and I detect it was not sent by the manufacturer. We're going to be talking about the Boreal 21 Wilderness Saw. And it did come from a TMP. -er. I'm going to super quick read his letter, what he wrote. He goes, been a big proponent, proponent, can't speak, proponent and fan of the project. Discovered TMP, doing firearm reviews, uh, been hooked ever since. My father was a 26-year-old aviator in World War II Pacific. Uh, thank you for your service. Here's the letter in case you think I'm making it up. I owned exactly uh, zero fixed blades. Uh, blah, blah. You can read it right there if you want. I'm sure you receive many products for gear reviews. I do. And I was intrigued when I saw, pun intended, TMP test product video of the Saw Viver. Unfortunately, the Saw Viver, by all my searches, appears to be discontinued. That's true, it is. Enclosed, find a Boreal 21 Saw. Um, triangular compact design. Finally stumbled on the Boreal. Designed and marketed through Agawa Canyon. As I understand, this design project was a Kickstarter initiative. I'm the owner of a product design team here in the Midwest. All the staff are in one way, gearheads, blah, 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 and proud members of TMP Nation. Thank you very much. We are not affiliated with or have any current or past arrangements with us with Agua Canyon. Uh, tabletop or infield review. That is John Lament, uh, president of Limert Group, and that is out of, I don't want to show his address, but Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, dude, uh, you are you are going to get a an infield review. It's just going to be what it is. Uh, I've done a lot of saw reviews already. Uh, I am a huge proponent of the saw viver. It's 10 ounces. 10 ounces and it cuts like a buzz saw. I just love the saw viver. I did tweet it and announce it on my Twitter account when it was getting discontinued. I know Jeff Lawfer at Cutlery Shop had some for a while and TMPers went and bought those. Will it ever come back? It doesn't look like it. I really don't think there's a big demand and market for these wilderness saws. And most people are, are completely content to have just a fold out saw like Gerber makes, which is okay for this kind of stuff right here. And I drove around until I could find some good deadwood which we could process without impacting the environment. Kind of like this dude did. See this? This is not good. So some dude decided to cut a living tree yeah, I, I never do that. It, we're going to work on this one right here, this dead piece here. I really love minimizing my environmental impact, and I do that well, I think. So the folding saws are good for, like, kindling size. But when you get more to, like, this size, you want something more dedicated. Last year in Wyoming, <laughs> I reviewed the Wyoming saw. I'll try to find some footage and roll it in somewhere along the way. It's a great saw. Uh, it's not as light as the saw viver. And I also have uh, reviewed the, the Silky Saws. PFI due to myself reviewed them and I busted one in field as I kind of predicted I would. And it happened. The triangular saw or the fold out saw is absolutely the best way to go. And I can tell you right now, this thing will work well just by looking at it. And it does have a very innovative design, the Boreal 21 by Agua Canyon. You see my weight written down on it. Uh, 19 ounces basically it's heavier in other words it's nine ounces heavier 
than the Sawviver. So that's going to be a downside. An upside to it, which is really cool, and I like it, and this is why I'm doing it in field, uh, because you are right, dude. It, it's, it's a cool design, is that it's really easy to set up. So maybe it falls under the firepower versus mobility equation. So check this out. This is how it folds. It'll just kind of come like this. I'm screwing it up. Oh yeah, that's why it doesn't, I was thinking that was articulating and folding, it ain't. Like this, and like that. So that's how it travels, like this. Cool, huh? Watch, by the way, is a JDM uh, Casio G-Shock 7900 watch for the tabletop. Love it. See, it's not just for the ocean. So to set it up, in reverse we go. And there's no screws to tension. Just put it in the slot right here. It has a tempered saw blade, just like most of them do. Put that in the notch right here. And voila, it's in. The one thing I wonder about is as the metal stretches, I'm looking to see if there's a way to tension it more. Because this, if this ever stretches or becomes loose and binds up, I would like an option as a user to tension it. Let's do a little bit of cutting though. I can tell you right now it's going to do great. I use this type a lot, just like a saw viver. They're like buzz saws. One of the things we have going for us with this one though is that it is a fresh blade. It hasn't been used and so it's going to really cut nicely. I did not look to see where the replacement blades are, uh, I'm sure it's on their website, Agawa Canyon website, you can get them. And I might use a standard blade, I don't know. So I'll give a purchase link at the bottom. It's probably going to Agawa Canyon directly. Uh, in Agawa, you probably ought to put it on Amazon if you wanna make money, because that's where everyone goes when they wanna buy stuff for cheap and fast with a return opportunity. Oh yeah, this thing is, it's awesome. No surprise. Storm coming in, by the way. These clouds are darkening. I drove towards them. I was like, I don't know if I really want to go over there, but this is where I had to go. Look over in the valley here, how it's like clear. It's nice over here. And where do we go? Towards the storm clouds. Standard. Standard TMP. Buzz cut this sucker right here. I love these infield reviews, they're fun. Honest and real, easy to edit. In fact, I don't edit it at all, I just throw it out there. Nice clean cut. This thing is awesome. Uh, let's see this now. I used I do this with uh, both the, the Sven saw. I don't know if I've ever done a formal tabletop on the Sven, but I've showed it in backpacking before and some other saws. Um, I'll use it to like you know turn around and just knock branches with it. Let's see if that works without it breaking or coming apart. And it should be able to do that. I mean, it's a wilderness saw. Uh, I don't have a super large survival knife with me and we're not really testing that anyhow, so I don't mind using it that way. It seems to be working pretty good. It seems to be put together nicely. So I, I estimate this is like 6,000 series aluminum right here. Love the reflective tape they put on there. That's super smart. So you can find it. Love the handle. A lot of real estate on the handle. I love the coloration, the orange, really cool. It's just really well put together. I really like the saw, actually. It's, it's excellent. I can't fault anything about it, actually, than the weight. It's just a little bit heavy. But the, the quick mechanism on it is super cool. And I would have to do a lot of cutting, and I probably won't, to know if it's if there's gonna be a tensioning problem with their design. Oh, that wood smells good, dude. Juniper. Love the smell of desert juniper, it's excellent. I do like covering products like this that um, fill a niche 
which <laughs> us outdoors people really like. With saw viber going away, that you know a company like Agawa comes in and fills the void. I, I like that, and that's another reason I'm covering it. It's really cool. I hope you guys make a lot of money, come out with new products. Um, it's a great saw from what I'm seeing. And unlike folding saws, in which they're not held at the front of the blade, this is obviously going to be a lot more, uh, a lot stronger. The like the silky saws, you can bind it, so you're cutting, and if you bind that blade under tension, it can snap. And I've done it, like I said. This is always going to be a superior design. I've also debunked that freaking uh, chainsaw, whatever that chain made or whatever that stupid saw is. Guys told me, oh, you gotta try it, and I tried it. I knew it would suck, it did. I don't recommend that one at all. If you really want to do some sawing, minimize your work, you need to take some weight. I mean, in this case, 19 ounces. There's, there's no way around it. I prefer it still over an ax. It just minimizes work, it's precise. See what I'm doing, for instance, I'm just cutting these really beautiful pieces of wood which I can process with my knife and create some awesome kindling. Granted, it's so dry I could use these, but if it's not, like if it's snowing, raining out, then not so easy. But look at how clean the cut is. And I can cut through bigger, bigger wood. So I'll come down here. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to do that. Uh, one reason is because people come out here and they may need this as firewood and I don't want to I don't want to take firewood that I'm not going to burn tonight and I'm not um, but let me I'll just come down a little bit always thinking about people trying to apply the golden rule just clearing out a way that we can saw out here yeah it's skipping around there a little bit right there see how it's kind of bouncing I kind of wished that it had more tension on the blade right there I guess I'll add that to my critiques is you do need to have a user way to tighten the blade. Let's see how tight that blade is. I'm looking to see if there's a provision for it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I don't really go steady this. I, I like using stuff cold turkey, man. I'll just do it right here, I guess. And we'll call it good. Short video. And let me do this. Preferred WD. Still. Still. When I was in Wyoming, I used uh, the oil from the KTM. Because I didn't bring WD, I just went into the crankcase. Got oil, it worked fine. Yeah, so it's about like the Sven, about like the Sawviver. It does have, um, like it says, 21, 21 inch blade, which gives it a, a better and faster capability. I, I love that. Uh, I much prefer a longer blade when my system can take it. Today I'm on a motorcycle. If I was planning on doing wood cutting, totally could take the saw. It travels nicely. It is kind of a longer saw. You saw me early trying to fold this and this doesn't fold in the opposite direction. It just goes like we showed you there. Like that, but it's super simple and super fast. Um, you know, not exactly short. I'll give you a measurement and annotation and overall length for the Agawa Canyon Boreal 21. Uh, it's a great saw. Yeah, I recommend it if you're in the market for a saw. Just remember the weight. And uh, it still, you might get it from the secondary market. The saw vivers are out there. That fancy. I'm going to end by, again, giving you a sweep of this epic western terrain. Soaking in the silence. No one out here, by the way. No one. See ya.